It's so cute when we create God in our image. My town is cute like that. You guys probably know some about that being from Texas. I grew up in Baytown. Anybody from Baytown here? <laughs> All right. You made it out. Good job. Good. This is dedicated to um, Huntsville, where I went to college. And okay, that's fucked up. And um, and Baytown. I went to college while George was governor there, so I grew up with George. I, I did most of the growing. And um. I'd like to dedicate this poem to, to my town. My, my town is cute, like a bumper sticker. Like, like Christians who sport power of pride bumper stickers. What is it you don't get about pride being a deadly sin? My town is cute like God bless America bumper stickers. Judging from our excessive luxuries, Austin, those stickers really work. Now if we can just get God to bless the whole world. Alex Olson, Alex Olson's bumper sticker. Hers, hers reads, I love my country. I just think we should start seeing other people. But, but my town doesn't see other people. We're just too cute. Like the difference between what we say and what we do. Like the fact that violence in any form is sanctioned by the government as criminal or insane unless they commit it. My town is cute. Like people who still shop at Walmart and claim to be patriotic. Stop it. My town is cute in the way we worry about the gays fucking up our family values and the sanctity of marriage, yet we still let our children watch television shows like Wife Swap, The Bachelor, American Idolatry, and Fox News. My town is so cute, y'all, that check this out. One time. Five years ago, there were some brown people. Boogity boogity. They attacked two of our tallest buildings and killed a shitload of our innocent citizens. Kind of like we did in Guatemala, Nicaragua, Panama, El Salvador, Tanzania, Mozambique, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Hiroshima, Philippines, Kosovo, Bolivia, Angola, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Dresden, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Haiti, Cambodia, Indonesia, East Timor, Iraq, Iraq. What are we doing in Israel? And my cute town pretends we never saw it or had it coming. So in a perpetual attempt to save cute face, we've waged a war on terror as effective as the war on drugs. My town is cute when we do these things in the name of God. Y'all, as many as many as 20% of the polar bears on the northern ice cap are hermaphrodites due to PCBs being dumped into the ocean. That shit is cute. Like a wolf giving birth through its penile canal. Like a 300 pound tumor manifesting hair and teeth inside of it, grown from the body of a 210 pound agrophobic woman. My town is cute like competitive poetry, the history of Scientology, plastic surgery, and refined sugar. My town is cute like a man swallowing an eight ball of cocaine, then jumping from a five story building to escape police, getting up and running away from it all. Y'all, this is a true story. The first time my town saw the sky it sucker punched us in the throat left us breathless said I'm gonna keep you awake some nights without touching you you'll make it up the pain you always do now my town only buys drowsy formula sky otherwise it gets too big the sky like when we were three before we realized we have balls Okay, the sky does not. Therefore, we have bigger bowls than the sky. 
Please don't talk to us about being teabagged by upside down hot air balloons. Explain it to a neighbor because that shit's funny. Where rational conversations and big pictures are concerned, we have no time for getting wrapped up. We are not little presents for your sky. We are just right, far right, and cute like three-year-olds, like the book about bunny suicides, cute like old Geller just before he got shot in the rabies. A good actor, that dog. My town was born way off the mark. Y'all, sometimes we see it coming, the mark, so we shoot it with spit wads or precision-guided phallic symbols. Every time there is talk of war, people give me reasons why their town will be bombed first. It's a souped-up sense of self-importance, bucko. Everybody knows my town will be bombed first. Because once we plan the construction of a nuclear power plant right here in the same fields where our military children now carry out covert orders to keep the word dumb alive. Religion has a hard time working here. Makes us believe that even when we're alone, somebody's watching us. Now, we're all narcissists. We have a habit of giving other people's gifts to ourselves, but at least our children still get their confidence booster shots, while our fathers perform voice reduction surgery to keep our pleas for help mind-sized, while our mothers are bending infinity in half so that our families can continue to talk in circles, while we all burn our tongues when we drink hot cocoa for the same reason everybody here wants to hug the ocean because it's just so much. My town knows that there is something so big inside of all of us, we have to suck just to distract you from being directly overwhelmed by our real power, the kind of power that makes you smile. Everybody knows that smiling is for little girls, the gays, and certain kinds of fish who are smiling by accident. The shortcuts my town have taken have gotten us so far ahead of ourselves, y'all, we've actually fallen behind. Would have been better off learning to herd turtles into bomb shelters on a moment's notice, giggling at the fact that we will all now die, and it's gonna happen so fast. We will have never been anything but really cute, like our three-year-olds who use folding chairs to beat lambs within inches of their lives. Funny fucking thing about that, my town is inches tall. It's why the sky looks down on us, wants to tell us something like, grow up. Or, or reach up, or look up and watch me winking. I'm trying to talk to you. The Earth is traveling at 66,641 miles per hour around the sun. It simultaneously rotates on itself at over 1,000 miles per hour. My town? <laughs> it's having some trouble sleeping. <laughs> came out a couple of years ago when people still thought 911 was the Arabs and half of them ain't never left Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. Check it out. When these people tell you stupid stuff, check it out. Read, understand stuff. You understand? This is called down, 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 down. That's monk. Somebody blew up America. All thinking people oppose terrorism, both domestic and international. But one should not be used to cover the other. Somebody blew up America! They say it's some terrorist, some barbaric Arab in Afghanistan. It wasn't an American terrorist. 